What is up guys, back in today with another reaction on the channel. Today I'll be reacting to the first episode of Natsume's Book of Friends. Uh, really looking forward to this. Um, to be honest with you, I really don't know much about this. I think it's a Iyashikai or something along those lines. Um, I've never watched that genre of anime. I think it translates to healing. Though it's going to be quite wholesome and nice and uh, make you heal, heal your heart perhaps. <laughs> Again, I don't really know. I've, I've never watched one in that genre. I've seen plenty of anime that have... Uh, um, felt very wholesome and such to me, don't get me wrong, but this is the first of this uh, kind of genre uh, that I am watching, um, and again, I really don't know too much about it. Uh, I know that it's got a seventh season coming out this year, and that it's very popular in Japan, um, so I think I'm probably going to get along quite well with this series. Obviously, being seven seasons means that it's going to be really good, I do hope, um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this first episode down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions. I probably will be uploading one of these a week, probably just one episode, but as, uh, as I said, there's seven seasons, so there is a lot of content, so I might up that to one or two episodes, an episode, or maybe once or twice a week. Um, we'll do uh, see how things go, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into the first episode. We'll just have it on mute just to start out with as well, just because the opening is going to be playing. Um, the opening of which I haven't seen any of the openings or endings, so see uh, if they reveal anything. Again, I've watched plenty of stuff that I felt have kind of like healed me heart-wise, but they've never been in this genre. Looks wise, it reminds me a bit of uh, Hotel Ruby, you know, Tabby A, I think it's called. Which I really enjoyed. Yeah, it does remind me of those quite a bit, actually. I also will say the design of that. Um, I'll pause it after the opening because I've got to turn the music back on as well. Okay, pretty nice opening. Uh, the design of this creature uh, that we see him riding on reminds me quite a bit of uh, a game I played recently called Okami, which I really enjoyed. Uh, it, it was about a really awesome game. Uh, definitely check out if you guys haven't played it. Um, it's about 50, 56 hours worth of, uh, of playthrough as well, which I thought was insane. But um, yeah, the design of the thing kind of reminds me of one of the kind of god uh, kind of animals from that game with these kind of markings on there. I'm not sure what these markings mean. Uh, but again, on the point of it looking a little bit similar to Hota Ruby, um, Lots of these creatures, uh, I guess they are kind of similar. These are like spirits, perhaps. Got a bit of a supernatural element. And if you guys have watched any of my reactions before to stuff with like monsters and stuff in like Sengoku Yoko, for example, uh, maybe it's quite similar to that as well. I really like cutesy kind of monsters. <laughs> I'm a big horror fan, so I love the awful stuff, but I also really like the kind of cute... Um, nice kind of monsters as well uh, maybe maybe call them monsters it's harsh uh, these kind of gods but um, yeah looks uh looks promising from the intro again I I'm pretty assured of the fact that this is going to be a high quality series uh, no idea when this came out I think it might be mid 2000s from the looks of things as well so that's one of my favorite eras of animation so looks wise it's definitely uh, le looking good so far I can't remember the studio behind this either, but I'm pretty sure it's a good studio. Cat and the Book of Friends. So 
so yeah, as I said with like the Okami and Sengoku Yoko stuff, I feel there'd probably be quite a lot of Japanese mythology and stuff in here. Japanese legends. Oh, that's um, Araragi's voice actor, right? Very particular voice he has. Ride the wind. So yeah, he can see these spirits. I guess no one else can. And the wind was probably this yokai. I think it just means like spirit, right? It's obviously not who she's searching for. This guy's also a big time voice actor. All of these guys are actually. I remember quite a few of these from Gintama. I think. So why do they keep still calling him she? How are they mixing him up? Unfortunately, when you're young, you don't really learn how to hide those things. Not that you should, but perhaps you should not to be seen weird from other people. I don't know why I've got a feeling some kind of really cute creature is going to come out of this. Yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> Yeah, we see this cat of him in like the key visual for the series, I think. Like his partner. Ah. Oh, I see. So he probably gives off like the same kind of spiritual energy or something. Mm. 
べてお前のようにあやかし者を見ることができただが周りの人間には見えない誰もロークのことが理解できなかった Sounds familiar? Was she there? Kind of sounds like she was surrounded by all you guys. Book of friends. Okay. Again, as much as I don't really know about myths and such from the Japanese, I've,、uh, I do feel quite familiar. Do a few of these things. Seems like you've got a pretty nice place here. So we're in the country. Of course. Long book, that isn't it? I just got this such a dark aura. <laughs> It's just like some cute ass cat. Oh shit. Holy crap. <laughs> I, as soon as I say that, it's some cute ass cat. That was a really awesome、uh, bit of animation there. Damn. So, what's the. Sorry, I, I'm just going to look this up for a second. Apologies, guys. I'm going to use my phone here. What studio is this by? Again, this animation looks really nice. That's、uh, one. Betsy. That's it.、Um, Brains Base. Okay, yeah. They've done a lot of. I, I haven't seen much of their work. I've seen Do Ra Ra Ra. That looks really nice.、Um, Back and o v e I've heard is really good. I haven't watched that yet, though.、Uh, it, they've done To Your Eternity.、Um, I did actually check up if, and if I should watch this series just because. Copyright、uh, with To Your Eternity, all my videos got striked and blocked, so I was worried about watching this because it's the same studio. But I think it's Kodansha and the publishers that are actually the ones that strike me, so、uh, and they're not involved in this. So hopefully, I should obviously, you guys won't be watching this if it's not all right,、um, but I should be all right on the kind of copyright, copyright front with this show.、Uh, but yeah,、uh, they've done To Your Eternity not too long ago as well, which I really enjoyed the first season of. I haven't watched the second season. Uh, due to the copyright stuff. And they,、uh, and they did do Hota Ruby. Oh, okay. That's interesting because, like I said, they,、uh, it seems quite familiar vibe wise. Maybe, maybe it's a, the same author behind this show and Hota Ruby as well. I'm not a hundred. I don't know. <laughs> uh, they done Spy s a m o r p h as well. The original series. Okay. So they've done a few works I know of. 
Um, and all of those look really good. So I, I haven't watched the original series of Spice and Wolf, but from what I've seen, that looks really good animation wise. Okay, Brains Base. Sorry about that. But um, again, I think this came out in like the 2000s, so this looks. Uh, this is very impressive how awesome that little bit of animation looked. Don't get me wrong, I don't think there's going to be too many segments with like at much action. Like I said, like this is a, a healing type show, so I think it's just going to be like a nice vibe throughout. But I imagine there'll be drama, don't get me wrong, but yeah, as I said, I don't think there'll be too many chances to show off amazing animation, but it's awesome that they can when uh, when it does come up. Also, I don't know if you guys like see this. It's just got this kind of, um, it's like, <laughs> like vibe around, just like how it looks. If you guys know what I'm saying, like watch watch a show that came out this year and compare it to this. This just looks a lot fuzzier, but in a good way, if that makes sense. Yeah, just leave that little guy there. I think we just saw a glimpse of it there, didn't we? <laughs> so what is the deal with the book of friends do you reckon sense really now oh sorry guys i've got a bit of an itch on my back Oh, they're the one she defeated. Why is it called the Book of Friends then? Oh, that didn't look like he was up to much bad. None of these guys do. Oh, okay. So she didn't actually like kill them or anything, but that, they're already dead, so she can't. But. You guys know what I'm saying. Didn't get rid of them. Okay. You kind of... Yeah. Interesting. Ah, no. Surely, eventually, this book's gonna like wither away. So I'm interested in hearing why he was locked away. <laughs> Abenazo. Okay, that checks out. Mm, yeah, I was gonna say that's definitely a yokai at the door. Ah, oh, she's back again. 
I mean, the fact that they see him as her surely means that he's got some kind of spiritual power or something as well, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> So again, what is the deal with like from Okami? What is the deal with like the red markings on white on pure white animals? Again, in Okami, I saw things like foxes, um, pigs, dragons, all white with uh, like red markings on them. The Okami, of course, wolf. But what about if you eventually want to hand it down to your grand grandchild? Madara. Hmm. I've never seen Naruto, but of course that name evokes Madara from Naruto, even though I've never watched it. I don't know much about him, but like I said, I've never watched the show, but he seems like a kind of vengeful character or something. Yeah, maybe based off a, a real Japanese person, perhaps. Or spirit. I'm also not sure what he is. Like, what animal is this cat? I mean, he, he was a cat, but he doesn't look like a cat now. <laughs> There's some kind of, like, dragon wolf cat thing.
So apologies to pause again, guys. But that's also um, another thing from Okami. Again, I'm probably going to mention that a little bit during the start of the series. But I loved how that in the gameplay you like drew the, uh, the the stuff in that game. If you guys have played it, you know you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, it seems like that's a kind of play here we saw with our main character Natsume. Um, he kind of blew the words out in that game. You kind of like draw draw them sometimes, and you draw like uh, yeah. Um, I, I guess there's something like powerful again in the mythology of Japanese drawings coming to life. Seems like again, it seems like it's going to be quite a bit of overlap, which is again good for me because um, I'm again I'm not I'm not like knowledgeable about all these myth, myths and stuff, but I have a bit of experience with them, which is uh, uh, better than knowing nothing, I guess, isn't it? But uh, like I said, there might be kind of like different interpretations of the same myth, perhaps. See, like, this, this thing's kind of cute, isn't it? <laughs> Ishigaki. Wow, if that's a sign of things to come, yeah, I think I'm gonna very much enjoy this show, aren't I? Shigaki. <laughs> okay sweet first episode that was isn't it i love that little i love that little segment at the end with that ishi gami ishi gaki that's a nice uh again maybe a little uh teaser of stories to come from these yokai i think that is where probably the most uh maybe the most touching stuff for me in the series will come from perhaps learning the the stories of these yokai Connecting with them. I don't know it just puts you in a good mood, doesn't it? I think that I think that is like what the the genre again is of this is just like puts you in a good sweet mood, soothing. Kind of reminiscent, like classical as well. I don't know. Hard to word it.
Okay, the Dew's God's Small Shrine. In my voice. Okay, next one sounds like a really interesting story as well about a uh, seemingly a yokai god or something and a, a woman that is always praying to him. Sounds like there could be quite a bit of uh, emotion and such in this story, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, really awesome first episode. Uh, I feel like I've already got a really good idea of the vibe of this show um, and what is well, obviously. It done a really good job at showing what the premise is going to be about today, but again, I've just got a really good. Uh, Really good feeling about kind of future episodes uh, and this one was really awesome uh, meeting a lot of characters uh, meeting a yokai again luckily for me i do have a bit of experience with um similar types of uh of show to this again i think this is very much based off like real japanese uh kind of stuff right here um obviously i don't think these things happen in real life but you guys know what i'm saying in that regard um but again just quite the touching uh story here as, as short as it was seeing this little bit of backstory it really had quite a quite a big effect. Um, I really like the main character, Natsume. I really like the cat as well. I think the cat has got a lot of personality. Uh, all the voice actors done a really awesome job today, but these two voice actors, I think, are a really good pair. So I uh, can't wait to see more. Uh, do let me know if you guys for, uh, thought this first episode though down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date. Uh, let me know if you guys thought about the opening name as well. I think they both uh, fit the series very nicely, didn't they? Um, and yeah, can't wait to see more. Thank you guys for watching. And enjoy the rest of your day.